Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack, or in today's case, Uncle Roundy Packs Some Cracks. We've got Time Spiral Remastered, which which hit the streets today. Uh, we got Voodoo Vince on the cover here. This is a remastered set, obviously, as you can tell by the remastered subtitle. Uh, each Time Spiral Remastered pack comes with, may contain these TSR cards. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. It's a little shiny. I can read it, though. It says, uh, let's, let's just pull this away here for a second. May contain these TSR cards. Numbers 1 through 410 includes 1 rare or mythic, 3 uncommons, 10 commons, and 1 bonus sheet card. That's the time-shifted card. Uh, I don't know too much about spoilers for this set, so I don't really know what it entails. I just know there's a lot of history in it. This was a well-loved piece of magic history. And so we're going to crack... One, two, three, four packs today. 34% uh, foil card of any rarity replaces a common in 34% of boosters. So uh, we have uh, the odds are in our favor of pulling at least one foil. But I want to I want to see what these time shifted cards. I know they're from sets like all over the place. Uh, they're not just from the time spiral block. There are there are time shifted cards from all over Magic history with cool old style art. So let's see what we're in for here. Some of you might have to explain to me the import of some of these old cards because I may not necessarily understand all of it. We got, okay, let's see what we got. We're opening up with an elemental shapeshifter. That's interesting. It can be a 3-3 creature, a 2-2 with flying, or a 1-6 with defender. Ooh, that is intriguing. Hmm. I really, oh, wow. Okay, all, already the commons are, are uh, getting a little wacky here. We got uh, we got goblin cr token creation with storm storm. I know that's a uh, I know that's a good old fashioned mechanic. That's uh that's pretty wild. Okay, uh, an archer with reach and death touch. That's a nice little combo there. Pit keeper. You got four more creature cards in your graveyard. You can return somebody from your graveyard to your hand. He's the keeper of the pit. And we got the green seeker who publishes the green sheet, which brings you buyers, so I hear. Green and tap and discard, search library for a basic land card, reveal it and put it in your hand. Shuffle your up, well, yeah, and it literally seeks green. That's, you don't get much more, yeah, Terramorphic Expanse, you got a little, got a little thing there. Wait, what is vanishing? I kind of skipped by that, Avon Riftwatcher. What is vanishing? This creature enters the battlefield with three time counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from it when the last is removed. Sacrifice it. <gasps> you gotta proliferate if you want to keep it around. When it enters or leaves the battlefield, you gain two life. Oh well, maybe you want it to leave after a while. Who knows? Who knows what we got here? You got the Banalish Cavalry coming in with flanking. I have never owned a card with flanking on it. Whenever a creature without flanking blocks this creature, the blocking creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. That's wow, there's some there's some old keywords on these cards already. Temporal Isolation. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature has Shadow. It can block or be blocked by only creatures with Shadow. Prevent all damage that would be dealt by Enchanted Creature. That's... that's weird. Huh. That is really bizarre. So now, on to our first set of Uncommons. Might of Old Crosa. Plus two, plus two, until end of turn. Unless it's a main phase casting, then it gets plus four, plus four for one green. Not too shabby. Oh, a... An uncommon land, Salt Crusted Step. You can put a storage counter on it. If you remove storage counters, you can oh, you can add com mana in any combination of green and or white. That's a that's neat. Thick skinned goblin. We all got to be thick skinned if we're going to be opening magic packs. You may pay zero rather than pay the echo cost for print. Yeah, echo is another another mechanic I've never really heard too much about. Red, thick skinned goblin canes protection from red. Until end of turn. If I knew more about what Echo was, I might know why this was a good card. And here we've got Life and Limb. A green enchantment. Green plus three. All forests and saprolings are 1-1 one, one green saprolings and forests in addition to their other types. And they are affected by summoning. So that's cute. <laughs> little uh, little commingling there. All right. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. A sliver. Yeah, slivers are all over this set. We've got a time-shifted... Cloud Shredder Sliver. This is uh, uncommon from, I think, Modern Horizons. It's not one of the old slivers, but it is a, it is a newer sliver, but it's got uh, 
white and red, and it slivers you control have flying and haste. I'm probably never going to build a sliver deck. I wasn't around in ye old sliver days, but we've got a foil common in here. We did hit that 34% common chance. Tar creature gets plus one, plus two until end of turn with a flashback cost, casting it from its graveyard for white instead of green. Interesting, interesting. And we've got a spider token, because who doesn't love a spider? Well, that's pack number one down. Uh, already, we got a time-shifted sliver. That's pretty neat. I know that's an uncommon ordinarily, so I don't know uh, I don't know what your rarity chances are on those time-shifted. And I don't know how many time-shifted cards there are either. Uh, maybe, I don't know, 100, 200? I don't know. What, what are your odds? And we're starting off with a sliver here, too. All your slivers get trampled. For six mana, that's... Okay, yeah, the the slivers are coming into focus here, I see. Snapback! Hoo-hoo! You, you don't want any snapback from any sassy wizards here. You gotta exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay its cost, and you can return it. That's not bad. That's a that's a cute little common. I'm gonna take that. A Nantuko Shaman. Little, little bug shaman coming out of the purple fire there. If you control no tapped lands, draw a card. Interesting. Oh, so you, oh, and you achieve that, I see, by either bringing it in with the suspend cost or, uh, or I guess, casting it for free somehow. Huh, interesting. Cutthroat Ildal has shadow as long as you have no cards in hand. Shadow is a, is a neat little mechanic. Uh, I've seen it mostly on uh, some white creatures, some old Soltari creatures. I was... Looking to build a goad deck at one point, and Shadow was a good way to trigger that. Bewilder. Target creature gets minus three, minus zero until end of turn. That That is bewildering. Bewildering as to why that would be a card in this pack. Oh, ho, 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 take that. Oh, take that person on the ground who's getting crushed by the fist of the ivory giant. Dang, when it enters the battlefield, tap all non-white creatures. Wow. Gee, there's some there's some crazy stuff on here. Black and tap, tap a tar human rebel rogue. Oh, I wonder what wonder what Mr. Wrathy Trapper is reveling against. A sinew sliver. All slivers get plus one plus one. Oh, that's nasty. And yeah, what about plus one plus one for all the other slivers you got? That that's even nastier. Penumbra spider. When it dies, create a two four black spider token with. Re Didn't we just get a spider token? <laughs> Look at that. We've got the spider token that the Penumbra spider makes. Now that's what I call synergy. Okay, here we go. On to the uncommons for this pack. We've got Tromp the Domains. I've been known to tromp on people's domains for domain. Is that a is that an old keyword? I don't think anything in this set is new at all. But uh, I've never seen I've never even seen domain on a on a thing, even in like the annals of history. Creatures you control get trample and get plus one plus one for each basic land type among lands you control. Oh, good for a rainbow deck there. Muck drub. That looks like me when I wake up in the morning, sitting in a sitting in a pile of my own filth and shame. When muck drub enters the battlefield, change the target of target spell that targets only a single creature to muck drub. Oh, poor muck drub, taking it on the chin. Sorry there, buddy. Sudden Shock. Sudden Shock deals two damage to any target. It's got Split Second, which is not impossible to respond to, but pretty dang near close. And we got Walk of the Eons. Blue Blue 4. It's a sorcery, and we can buy it back by sacrificing three islands. Target player takes an extra turn after this one. Uh, extra turn spells are always pretty, pretty heavy on the cost there. We got a Containment Priest here for our... I think that's a core 20... Or even a core 21 card. White plus one. A human cleric. 2-2 two -two with flash. If a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it instead. Nasty. And we got another foil here. That's foils all the way down. Dark withering. Destroy target non-black creature. And we got a sapperling token, which uh which looks like the uh which looks like the broccoli I had last night, you know, after I was through with it. Okay, not I don't think we're hitting anything. I don't know. I don't really know what the what the value is of anything we're hitting so far. But this is this is cute. This is good times. This is these are some wild cards we got in here. Grape shot, grape in the face. <laughs> Deals one damage to any target. And has storm. Oh my gosh, I can see. Well, this is I can see this getting wild. That's a that's a funny card right there. All right, uh, erratic mutation. And dude's a dude's arm is a. Looks like looks like SpongeBob after he orders the 
After he orders the inflatable SpongeBob muscle pants arms. What's up with that guy? Plus X, minus X until end of turn. Wow. Put all cards revealed this way. That's, that's a weird card right there. That instant. Needle Peak Spider. You don't see spiders in red too often. That's interesting. A 4-2 spider with reach. And it's red. That's the weirdest part to me. A red spider. What the heck? Spiders deal almost exclusively in green and black. So, huh. I'm, I'm intrigued by the red spider. Not that it's good or anything. Uh, grave Scrabbler enters the battlefield. If it's a madness, cost was paid. You can return a target creature card from a graveyard to its owner's hand. He's got he's got quite the little, quite the cheese dick grin on his face there. Sitanal, Sitanul, Sitanul, Sitanal, Wood Readers. I don't know. If you kick it, you draw two cards. Kick it. Check out the beat while the DJ revolves it. Corpulent corpse. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's what I look like when I wake up. That's disgusting. That's, uh, <laughs> that is quite the zombie you got there. It's got fear, though. Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures or black creatures. Bound in silence. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. A common uh, common uh, domain of white. Seal of Primordium. If, you, if the Seal of Primordium has been broken, be sure to return your magic pack for a full refund. Uh, be sure to get the refund before you destroy the target artifact or the enchantment. Castle Raptors. Wasn't that a wasn't that a, like an Xbox 360 game? As long as Castle Raptors is untapped, it gets plus two plus zero. Interesting, interesting. Fathom Seer morph return two islands you control to their owners. And a lot, a lot of island return to the hand. It's very bizarre. Haze of rage. Oh God, I'm seeing red. Ah, I'm just surrounded in a haze of rage. God, two. Mana, buyback combo. I'm calm now. I'm calm. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one, plus one, plus zero. Sorry, until end of turn. And it's got that good old storm mechanic on it. Storm is funny. Oh, man. I can see that really snowballing if you're able to crack off a lot of spells. That's that's pretty wild. Big Game Hunter. You got the Big Buck Hunter machine over in the corner at Buffalo Wild Wings. It's got madness. It destroys creatures. They can't be regenerated. Rift Wing Cloud Skate. That was my that was my name back in roller derby back in the day. And uh, what have we got next? We got a rare Sarah Avenger, an angel for two white mana. You can't cast a spell during your first, second, or third turns of the game. And it's a three three angel with flying and vigilance. Why? 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 What is what? What even is what? What? Why? Weird card. Okay, got a Rakdos charm here. Rakdos, a, a guild well known for their charm. It's you can exile all cards from a target graveyard, destroy a target artifact, or each creature deals one damage to its controller. That's that's got that chaotic Rakdos flavor to it. That's interesting. So far, I don't feel like we've hit anything just major here. And a one-two bat token. And for one in black, sacrifice this creature, return an exile card named Singir Nosferatu to the battlefield. Under its owner's control. Well, we haven't pulled a Singir Nosferatu yet, but I'm sure. I'm sure if we do, we'll have the bat token to go with it. The bat signal to summon the Singir Nosferatu. Last pack here. I don't, you know, I don't know know really anything about the value here, but I don't feel like we've hit anything especially major worth worth writing home uh, from Camp Granada about. We've got a Talarian Sentinel here. It's a human spell shaper. Blue tap discard return target permanent you control to its owner's hand. Got a sting scorger. That's a that's a ugly looking uh, goblin. He's got the he's got the little swirly little swizzle stick going there. Oh, here's Echo. Red three at the beginning of your upkeep. If this came under your control since the beginning of your last upkeep, sacrifice it unless you pay its Echo cost. Oh, so that other guy, the thick skin goblin. So I can like pay nothing and keep my Echo people on the field. Okay. I get it. I see. It's all coming together. Slipstream Serpent. I don't want to spoil anything in the back there. Slipstream Serpent can't attack unless defending player controls an island. Serpents are never really... Hey, there's Thrill of the Hunt, non-foil edition. Assassinate. Well, then that's that's not... Uh, no, not mincing words there. <laughs> Destroy target tapped creature. Boy, he's a... Uh, He's bleeding black over there. That's a, And we got Icor Slick. Target creature gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. 
Now, let's see. If you discard this card, discard it to exile. When you do, cast it for its madness cost or put it into your graveyard. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, you cycle it. Okay, cycle, madness, blah, 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 the whole. Uh, blue looter, a core rogue with shadow. When it deals damage to an opponent, draw a card, then discard a card. All right. Amro scout. Search your library. A lot of rebels in this set. What are... What are they rebelling against here? The people of Amro were scattered by war, driven into hiding. Scouts maintain the beacon fires that signal return and home. We got a split card here. Is this a this is a common or uncommon? Dead, dead and gone. Okay, one red. So they're both instants. Dead deals two damage to target creature, or you can you can do one or the other with these split cards. Return target creature you don't control to its owner's hand. Prismatic wins. One and tap. Add one mana of any color. Boy, I don't. I don't think I'm going to argue with a with a mana rock that that gives me one of any color. Thesis. <laughs> wow, that is quite the cost. Four black mana and three a sorcery. Destroy target creature. Its controller loses life equal to its power plus its toughness. Dang. Suspend, or you can suspend it for five. Oh wow, or you can just like cast it for two and then have it sit there and then it comes right out. Oh, that's. That's fun. That's cute. That could be. <laughs> I think it's just pronounced Thysis. I'm just being goofy. Salt Blast. Destroy target non-white permanent. White, white, three. Yeah, people are going to get pretty salty if you uh, destroy target non-white permanent. You can even take out a land that way. That's interesting. Storm Entity. An element, 1-1 one, one elemental with haste. Enters battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it for each other spell. Cast this term. Hence the name. Storm Entity. And... Rare number four, it's a mythic. Krovax, Ascendant Hero. White, white, four. Other white creatures get plus one, plus one. Non-white creatures get minus one, minus one. And pay two life, return Krovax to its owner's hand. Ooh, wow, he's a, uh, that's pretty easy to, that's a pretty easy cost to pay right there. Oh, he's a, uh, he's very, uh, he's very uh, sun, he's gotten a lot of sun, I can tell. I like his cape. Is that a cape made of feathers? That's... That's wild. Krovax was destined for an angel's curse, but one warped timeline saw the noble redeemed. Oh my god, he's the ascendant hero, and he's going to ascend while we look at our time shift. Woo! Harvester of Souls! That's an older card. It's not a super great one. Whenever another non-token creature dies, you may draw a card. I think I got this as a rare and a jumpstart pack. Assembly Worker! Bum, 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 bum. Well, I like that we got a mythic in the close there. Uh... And it's uh, and it definitely uh, puts the puts the uh, puts the hurt on the non-white creatures. Uh, looks like white might actually be kind of fun to play with in this set. We got a lot of cool white cards, but here's our here's our big pull of the day. I would say, I would guess, maybe just uh, just going off the fact that it's a mythic. It's the only mythic we pulled, but uh, there it is. That's Time Spiral Remastered. Somebody. Somebody out there is, at least somebody out there, probably got a fairly big nostalgia hit off of all this. But uh, I had some fun, and uh, I'm going to go look up and see what some of these are worth, and uh, I'll see you all later. We don't usually do four packs like this, and it took a hot minute, but twas fun. I'll see you all later. Have a nice day. Better get rid of all my trash here.